This car is probably the most popular car from the 2017 Hot Wheels in case. This is the 17 Nissan GTR R35. And uh, this one is a car that a lot of people have been anticipating. Uh, when I opened the M case, uh, there were a lot of viewers that were wondering where this was in the M case, but it actually came out one case later in the N case. Uh, so uh, that that right there alone tells me there's a lot of people that were looking for it and, and hoping it was going to come out in that M case, but uh, it came out one case later. and. Uh, it's been a very popular car since since its arrival. The secondary market is one thing that uh, kind of speaks to the popularity of this car. Uh, hasn't been out very long, but on the secondary market, this one's averaging for ten to fifteen dollars right now. It will become easier to find to a certain degree. I don't know if everyone's going to find it on their local shelves, but that secondary market price should come down some as they do start, start to show up a little bit more. Um, but there's not many first editions, uh, new models I should say, that people are scrambling for quite like they're scrambling for this one right now. There are some, uh, but this one is pretty popular. And it is a, uh, it's a, this is a considered a supercar. It, to me, it doesn't have quite the styling of some of the other supercars like the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, and some of those are in a little bit higher price range, but this one's uh, well over $100,000, and depending on what options you get with it, it could get even closer to $200,000, which then you're really getting up there into the range of some of those other supercars. But performance-wise, it gets right in there with them, so uh, if you're all about the style, and you're gonna spend money on a supercar you may go for something else uh, but if you want great performance and I'm not saying the style is bad it just doesn't doesn't have quite the flair of some of those other supercars um, but if you want the performance this one has it it's it's putting out 565 horsepower uh, it is a v6 a turbocharged v6 um, but with that horsepower this car is able to, uh, it's been clocked from 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds and uh, has a top speed. I think I saw where the top speed was able, uh, some, someone was able to get up to 195 miles an hour. Uh, so very, very fast and it handles really well on the track as well. So it's able to handle those, those uh, more technical courses. Uh, fairly well. So this car, the color that's on this one and the paint on this is outstanding. I don't know if you can tell through the video uh, just how nice this paint is, uh, but it's a really great paint job. On the real car, they call this color Blaze Metallic. So we'll go with Blaze Metallic. It's kind of an orange color uh, but you definitely see the metallic to it and uh, has a certain shine to it and even even changes colors just a little bit in the light as you turn it has a little bit of a red to it kind of goes from orange to red really nice paint on this one it's not overdone you can still see the details the lines of the car uh, so that makes it really nice now on the front your uh, GTR logo here is pretty hard to see the paint gets a little bit sloppy there and those are some small details so it's it's sometimes hard to get details that small to be perfect the headlights are painted black there and I think I mentioned the Y5 wheels uh, this one has the driver's side on the right side we'll see if you can see through the front window there's the steering wheel over there so this would be the Japanese version of the car uh, they do make an American version that's going to have a uh, driver on the left hand side and uh, so it's it's not exactly 
uh, not exactly like the old JDM, Japanese domestic market, where they were only available in Japan. Um, but one thing it does share in common with some of the older skylines are the tail lights. These tail lights, um, they change somewhat, they change a little bit uh, over time, but essentially it's the same design as the tail lights going all the way back to 1972 on the skyline. And uh, so that, that's 45 years, 45 years they've kept the same basic tail lights. They've always been rounded and uh, there's two on each side. The outer light is a little bit larger than the one on the inside. So that's pretty cool that they've been able to hold on to that particular element of the design for so many years. And there you see the spoiler on the back, the Nissan logo. It's got dual exhaust on each side. Hot Wheels logo on the license plate there. And we come back around to the side there. So this is a very popular car. Uh, very popular car in the in case. This is the first time for us to see this one. So I imagine we're going to see it again in uh, other colors. And uh, we'll point out this is from the Nightburner series. You might have noticed that just by looking at the wheels there. Uh, those wheels are typical of something you would see on the Nightburner series, but that that's what this one is from. It's the 17 Nissan GTR R35. Thanks for watching.